as Cassessa community is aware uh, to access services offered at Mount St. Mary's Hospital. Somebody had to, to first get a piece of land, get her on the market, get the money, and then go to Mbera Hospital, Inga Hospital, or some Kampala based hospitals. So uh, we thank God for Right Reverend Aquinas Francis Kibera Campbell for the vision. But also we want to thank the German tax payers that they care so much about Africa. And they're driven Gaudi by the valley system. I am a brother's keeper, I am my sister's keeper. It's one thing to get our partners, but it's another for somebody uh, to use the funding for the intended purpose. You know, being a bishop does not change who you were, it reveals who you were. And just like uh, President Lincoln said, uh, any man can handle or freeze adversity. But if you want a character of a man or a woman, give them power. Where the power and religious power that resides in the office and the home of the bishop. Look at how amazing our bishop is. Humble, down to earth, full of grace and mercy and humility. And I want to thank God for uh, Bishop Aquinas. Now back to the point. Uh, a lot of policies the government uh, put in place, a lot of them are not got to research. They're not a research got it. Government comes up with policies and programs that don't have adequate information, adequate uh, evidence, knowledge, data, and science. So uh, it is crystal important that every policy and program that government comes up with must be guided by research or the evidence or you have to uh, base upon existing data. So what we do right now as government is you shoot and then aim later. And yet it's supposed to be you aim and then you shoot. So the fact that a lot of our, uh, our interventions of government are not based or anchored on research, evidence, information, knowledge, and, and data, uh, our programs and our, our ideas or intervention as government are not making the, the intended impact because uh, our interventions are misguided. Now you just talked about uh, government withdrawing uh, human resources from private uh, medical institutions. That in itself is, uh, is a wrong strategy because the people are or the citizens been served in a private medical hospitals or in, in private hospitals belong to government. So in any case, private institutions are facilitators, facilitating uh, the work of, uh, uh, of uh, government. So it's crystal important that we might have to rethink rethink and reverse that that uh, reverse that decision because it's gonna make or it's gonna have adverse effect on the health service delivery system. Uh, somebody asked about um, when you look at a, a lot of these things and you know you look at how much money has been sunk into this uh, amazing facility and, and then you relate that with what happens. And uh, there's a lot of corruption in, in, in government. And I don't know whether you're aware that every year 
this government loses up to 23 trillion shillings, with one trillion lost to procurement fraud alone. So what does that mean? That uh, for government, of course, you have that's red tape, procurement red tape, and there are a lot of middlemen, there are a lot of gatekeepers, and everybody wants to really grab, or you know, everybody wants to to have their share. But of course, uh, uh, when you get back home here, you find a bishop and the priest, and then the Reverend Sisters, and then the entire uh, Christian community. Uh, those are people that have uh, the hearts all into and anchored in on integrity, our good judgment, and, and honesty. And, and of course, those are missing links within the government. And that's the reason why. If you relate uh, how much is green, if it was government, probably you'd, you'd be having only one block. Uh, that is something that is familiar with, with government systems. And I want to just uh, if, uh, through the minister to a local government uh, that uh, the director will have to be, uh, you know, reinstated. And of course, that is going to send our a clear message and signal to the rest uh, of uh, uh, the medical community.